I've got some very bad news for you. Research states that 75% of the wedding couples regretting their wedding photographer. And that's a lot. But hey, who better to give you this information than a Dutch guy? There are only two things I can't stand in this world. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures and the Dutch. What? Besides bringing you the bad news, I'm also going to bring you good news. Because I've got 25 questions you should ask your wedding photographer so you know you got the perfect wedding photographer. I traveled the world, I shot near to a thousand weddings. I'm doing this for a long time. I've met a lot of couples, so I know what to ask. So let's dive in those questions. <laughs> Before we dive into the questions, it's important to know why a lot of people aren't happy with their wedding photographer. But if you want to skip all that and go straight to the questions, you can go to the description here below, somewhere here. You can go straight to the questions if you want to know why. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. Stick around. A wedding photographer is the only vendor, the only supplier on your wedding that makes your memories tangible. It's, it, it's the person that shows you how the wedding really was. And this person can bring you back to a wedding or can you make relive your wedding. And that's a big difference because you want to make, you don't want to just see your wedding on a photo, you want to really relive your wedding. The thing a wedding photographer has to do is to take you back to the place and show you how beautiful it was. Because you paid a lot of money for your wedding. It's expensive. You want to see those photos and relive that wedding. If you don't see it or you don't feel it in the photos, it kind of sucks. So why do people book the wrong wedding photographer? Well, budget. I don't know what that is. People have no budget for the photographer or they spend a lot of money on the venue, on flowers, on everything, suits, dresses. But they forgot the budget for the photographer and they're like, well, it's just photos. But if the photos don't match up with the, what you see in real life, and the photos, you got a problem. What also happens is that they ask a friend or a relative to make the photos. Oh, my Uncle Jerry, you'll make the photos. He's a great photographer. Yeah, 50 years ago, but not now. Unless I'm your friend or your relative. I'm not gonna shoot your wedding if, if I'm your friend because I'm gonna drink at your wedding. You need to find a great photographer. No connection or click with your photographer. I think that's the most important thing. If I book a wedding couple, I want them to want me and I want the same thing for me. I want, I want them. So we want each other. Darling, you found me. Mm -hmm. A sweet. Mm -hmm. It feels a little bit strange when I'm saying it, but it's very important that we know each other, that we uh, trust each other. And the outcome of the photos will be beautiful. And also a very important thing, is the editing style of a photographer. If you choose a photographer, you choose the right editing style. So for instance, if I want to eat Italian food, I will go to an Italian restaurant. If I want to eat Japanese food, I will go to a Japanese restaurant. I don't go to a Japanese restaurant and say, can you cook me some lasagna? It's lasagna, zagna, za. That isn't how it works. So choose your photographer and the style that matches your style you want to show people. So the questions are separated in different categories. So to bring some structure in this chaos. So let's dive into the questions. So let's start with the personal stuff. And that's to establish a great connection with you and your photographer. And the first question I would ask a photographer, why did you become a wedding photographer? It's a great conversation starter to ask the photographer why he or she or them become a photographer. So you have a, something to talk about. And most photographers are very passionate about their work and they tell you everything. Also ask about their relationship status. It's complicated, so pay attention. And maybe it's because I'm Dutch and just very direct, but in the end, he's or she's gonna ask you about your relationship. So if you ask it back, you get to know the person that's gonna photograph you. I always tell people when they book me about my wife, about our situation, so they know I'm a human too, that I have a relationship. Ask what the photographer does in his free time. So maybe the photographer has hobbies or something. Sometimes I, I DJ. You can relate to, so also it's about the conversation. Try to learn to know someone. You want the photographer to ask stuff back to you. So this way you can really start a great conversation. So do you like weather? But also ask the wedding photographer what the perfect wedding couple is for this photographer. Because 
if the photographer uh, answers with an um, answer that doesn't match you guys, you know, it's not a right fit for us. Also ask the wedding photographer what it's like to work with that person. So you know what you're gonna get. Some people are very silent. When you book me, I talk to guests, I talk to people. I also can be very silent, like a fly in the wall and like another irritating fly, but it's no, I'm, I'm there, you don't notice me. But you wanna know what kind of person it is. Is it introvert, is it extrovert? You wanna know that kind of stuff. It's okay to ask your wedding photographer what his experience are. What's the experience of that person? So you know, you can estimate how good the photographer is when something goes wrong, for instance. But also ask the photographer, is it his full-time job? Because it isn't his full-time job, you can ask yourself. The photographer does it for like 10 plus years, it isn't a full-time job. Why isn't that? Because the photographer has another work that he or she loves so much, or is it because you just can't get traction to get more clients? That says a lot about the photographer. But also ask the photographer how many weddings did the photographer shoot? One thing nobody asked was very important, they're real oh. and they're spectacular. Ask if you can see real weddings. So the, if the photographer can show you a full wedding day, multiple full wedding days, so you can see everything the photographer does. So I have on my website, have full weddings, a lot, like maybe 50 full weddings. You can see everything. So you can see what I do, all my photos, so you know what you're gonna get. And ask your photographer what the photographer does if something breaks. Please, please don't break my stuff, you guys flashlight or a, a camera or something like that breaks, what does a photographer do? As it, does he got backups or something? You want to know exactly what you're getting if you book a photographer. So these couple of questions are very important. So ask the photographer what's included in the price you pay. But also ask what the delivery time of the photo is going to be. Is it like two weeks? Is it a month? Is it three months? Is it six months? 500 years from now. Ask the photographer, make sure you got it in writing so you know, you can say to the photographer, you said two months, deliver in two months. I deliver my photos within a month. I'd always do it like that. So people know within a month, I've got my photos and my videos. In my case, also shoot video. Also ask how many photos are you going to get? Uh, are you getting 20 photos, 100 photos, 1000 photos? One million. And also ask if the photos are, as a bonus question, are edited. Are all photos edited or a couple of photos edited? Also ask what the size of the photos are. So like it's two megabyte photos, 10 megabyte, 20 megabyte. Ask the photographer because if you want to print something out very big, you need big photos. So ask up front what the size of the photos are going to be and if you can print them really big or are they great for social media. So for social media you need a special size photos around two, three megabytes for Instagram for instance. So if you got like 20 megabyte photos, they don't work on Instagram, they mess up the photo. Now we're getting down to business because you're making a deal with a photographer. It's still a business deal and you gotta be aware of that. Would you mind if I ask you a business question? So ask the photographer how the complete booking process looks like. So make sure to ask your wedding photographer how the complete booking process looks like. For instance, from the quotation up till the full delivery of the photos or the album, ask the full process so you know how the process is going to look like, what the times are going to be, how much time you spend talking to the photographer. And I think you should always ask the photographer how many weddings... All of it. ...this person does a year. Because if the photographer shoots 80 weddings a year, well, it doesn't have... The person doesn't have a lot of time for you as a wedding couple. Does a photographer like me, I shoot around 20 weddings a year. You have more time for your couple, so you, you know he's going, the, the photographer is going to invest a lot of time in your wedding. Also ask what happens if, the, if this person is sick or cancels the wedding or if you cancel the wedding. I Let's just, just I can't this year. Let's just forget it. Yeah. Ask what happens then, what happens to the money, how does it work. Ask the photographer how he or she photographs children, because children is different from adults because children are little so you have to bend out to your knees to photograph the children can you see photos of children how did the photographer shoot those photos also ask the photographer if you can request special shots. shots if the photographer says no i only do what i do you know that's the thing he's going or she's going to do and if you want different photos you need a different photographer that does what you want the photographer to do and now we get a bit boring but very important category, that's the technical part. Backup systems. How does the photographer have a backup system on the wedding day? Ask the photographer if there's a backup system in the camera. So my camera has a special backup system, so when I shoot a photo or a video, 
photo gets copied twice in my camera on two separate memory cards. So ask the photographer if he or she has a special backup in the camera. If they don't, it's kind of dangerous shooting photos. I also like to live dangerously. Also ask if the photographer does a special backup on the wedding day. So it takes time during dinner or something to make backups of the photos. Does a photographer have some backup equipment at home? So ask a photographer how do you uh, backup your photos at home? Saving your photos in the cloud or on a server? Ask what happens with a photo. It's very important to ask how many copies there are of your wedding. Backing up. Beep. Beep. And also ask if you lose the photos in the future, if the photographer still has the photos or he throws the photos away. So make sure you know everything about the backup part. And I know, it's, I, it's, I know it's, it sounds very boring, but the backup part is so, so important. I keep saying it because if that isn't working or something goes wrong, you're losing your whole wedding. I'm losing everything. So if you enjoyed this video and want more of my tips, tricks, and a lot of bullshit about the well, world of wedding photography, I'm just kidding. That's not bullshit. It's real stuff. I'm giving you guys real information that really helps you guys. <laughs> well, hit that subscribe button like you're making the best photo of your, of your life. Just hit it like this, like really, really, really hard. Uh, and also, if you want to see more of my work or you want to see my photos, go to my Instagram. It's around, I think here's like a pop or something like bloop, bloop. It says, go to my Instagram, follow me. I can show you my work. If you want to have some influence on my videos, want to see new videos, want to have a special subject, Ask on Instagram. I'm a big Instagrammer. And that just leaves me to say, till next time, my photo friends and wedding couples and everyone is my friend. If you follow me, you're my friend. You're my best friend ever, forever. And remember to take a lot of shots, but always stay focused.